that Star Wars girl and today I'm going to once again be talking about Henry Cavill's girlfriend because remember yesterday when I did a video about how Henry announced him and his girlfriend both announced publicly on Instagram uh, that they were in love and dating and together and because I went on her Instagram and, you know, looked her up. Uh, apparently I'm a creepy stalker, everyone, and there's been this whole, like, Twitter war of, uh, these, I, I sincerely hope they're children, uh, screaming at the top of their lungs that I'm a creepy stalker for scrolling through her Instagram and, you know, seeing that, oh gosh, she posted her job on Instagram and I wanted to get a better clarification so I saw her IMDB and her LinkedIn to see what she, exactly she does in Hollywood. But that makes me a creepy stalker, but guess what? News just dropped because apparently I'm not the only creepy stalker uh in the world because i didn't break this news other people said hey i wonder who henry cavill's girlfriend is and then guess what they found out she was a star on the mtv show my super sweet 16 oh my god does that mean these people are creepy stalkers too because they they put two and two together that she was on a tv show back in 2005 oh my god what terrible people everyone on the internet must be creepy stalkers because they did research oh how terrible <laughs> Oh my gosh, I love being right. But anyways, everyone, so uh, I, I saw this on Twitter, and again, I didn't break this news, but uh, I saw it, and I thought it was funny. And then I looked on the episode, and I was like, holy shit, I watched this when it came out. I have seen this episode before. And uh, <laughs> I rewatched it again just to get a fresher look at it, and I was like, oh, wow. Um, you know, it, it it's just a, a refresh, but so... Henry Cavill's new girlfriend, uh, you know, was on My Super Sweet 16, the MTV show, which basically was just an MTV show to show all of the spoiled rotten brats, <coughs> excuse me, getting tickled my throat, all of the spoiled rotten brats that lived in, you know, the big cities and how their parents would just been obscene amounts of money on them for their party. And yeah, I was, you know, a young, a young one. Uh, in 2005, as but you know, and when all of these shows were coming out, but uh, I'm gonna give you guys some specific insides, uh, scoops to how this show works. Because guess what? When I was in high school, I got picked to be on an MTV show. It never aired. It never aired. But I did get picked to be on a TV show uh, on MTV. And after they came and filmed me and my family and my friends. They actually decided that I was too weird for TV, and <laughs> so, um, that episode never aired, and they never edited it or, uh, had it, uh, released onto, you know, their, their, their channel, but, uh, I did get to see some of the footage, the interviews, uh, of my friends, uh, or people that I thought were my friends was very interesting, but so because I had that experience, uh, I kind of have an insight on how this is. Now, if you guys want to go watch the video, the the entire episode, and you guys want to kind of see uh, what happens in this episode, uh, the link for it is in the description of this video if you guys want to go check that out. But take in mind before you watch that, finish watching this video because I'm going to kind of give you an inside scoop because I had to experience what it was like for MTV to actually come out and film me. So what they do is they have a producer camera person basically there seems to be more uh with her but you can kind of tell uh, especially if you've any experience filming anything it's somebody who's standing there with a camera but then they're asking you questions and so they they have to create this narrative right because they're telling the story they need to make the episode interesting and what makes something interesting drama i know because they did this to me personally that when they interview you to see and the only reason i did this guys was because they may uh, for the show that I was uh, going to be in, but that they filmed me for was the TV show Made, which was you know a very popular show on MTV where they pick some kid from a high school and they decide 
to make them into something. Whether you know, some nerdy girls wanted to become rappers. I remember a girl from a another high school that was in the same town as mine she wanted to become a ballroom dancer and so she got her episode and they did all that for her I wanted to be a triple threat because I've always wanted to sing and I can't sing I sound like freaking scuttle from the little mermaid when I try to sing but singing was something that I always wanted to do especially when every single movie that was coming out was you know oh Hillary's Hillary Duff and she comes out and she sings and high school musical came out when I was a kid and it's like oh you get to sing and like it just was something special and it's not something I've ever been able to do and when you go into the interview and I was the last person to be interviewed at my high school for this and I did it because all of my friends did it and it's like why not I didn't think I was gonna get picked but they they ask you these questions and they say, well, what, what do you want to be made into? And then, you know, they ask you, oh, well, who's your best friend? Are you trying to prove this? Are you trying to prove yourself to anyone? And I said, well, I was like, I really would like it if my mother was proud of me. And I think if my mom really likes the musical Grease because her name's Sandy and the main character in that Sandy, when she was a teenager, everyone said she was Sandy from Grease. And I said, like, I wanted to prove, I wanted my mother to be proud of me and I wanted to prove myself to my mother. And that's what got me picked for that. Also, I was... In the middle of a water polo tournament, so I showed up in a water polo uh, uniform, you know, my swimsuit, and I had a swim cap on, and I looked fucking terrible. And so they picked me because they're like, oh, look at this weird, weird girl that wants to sing and prove herself to her mother. Uh, let's pick her. And then when the camera person showed up, and, you know, I I didn't look this way, but I, I, I did... For back then, I think I looked decent. And the producer showed up, and she's like, wow, you look nothing like your interview. And I was like... I guess I should take that as a compliment, but what they do is they sit you down and they set up situations and they, they kind of egg you on to say certain things. And so in this episode, she does seem like a very spoiled, rotten brat that's kind of a bitch. But as somebody that knows what it's like to be in that situation where you have a person in your home and they're asking you questions and they're editing it in certain ways and they're specifically trying to get you to say certain things like in this episode she's talking about oh we don't want freshmen here because they're going to cause drama and they're and they set it up oh she's this girl that was from rockwell new mexico and she moved to the big city and she wants to be popular and she wants people to know her so it makes her seem very materialistic and again guys she was 15, 16 when this was shot. She's in her 30s now. I'm sure that she has matured. And I'm sure if the footage that I did for MTV got leaked on the internet, I would look terrible. <laughs> Not just the way I physically looked, but the things that I said. I mean, when you're 15 years old, 16 years old, a majority of the time, you know, you don't know what the hell is going on in the world. And I'm sure everyone is embarrassed by the way that they acted when they were a teenager. I myself can say full heartedly, if that shit came out, I would be so embarrassed hiding under my pillow, which I'm sure is what this girl is feeling now. I, I'm sure to be working in the industry that she is in, she would have to have matured. I'm sure to be with Henry Cavill, because that's the whole thing. Oh, it's Henry Cavill's girlfriend that was on this show. She would have had to mature because this doesn't seem like the type of chick that Henry would be interested in. He seems to be into very down-to-earth people. And based on looking at her Instagram, because, oh yeah, I'm a stalker because I scrolled through her Instagram. I mean, she posts about how her mother died. And then when you wa I rewatch this episode, you learn it's not even her actual biological mother it was her stepmother but the way that she talks about her and how heartbroken she is that she's not there and even when you watch this episode she's like oh yeah this you know she my my father's you know my stepmom my father's new wife she basically rescued me because I was living with my aunt and uncle because my father knew that he couldn't raise a kid by himself she rescued me she's becoming this mother that I you know didn't really have and it doesn't really explain what happened to her biological mother but on her Instagram you find out that her mom died and she doesn't refer to her as her stepmom like she did in this video she for her as her mother so I'm like oh my god what happened and so I think that there she's done a lot growing up from this but you got to understand when you watch this video which again if you want to the link is in the description of the video take in mind the producer that they send to go and film you when you're going to be on an MTV show they specifically ask you certain questions and they pick out they they kind of, it's not that they put words in your mouth and make you say these things but they egg you on in the way that they ask you these questions and as a teenager 
you don't pick up on this as where as an adult if i was in this exact same situation and you can tell by the way that they cut this episode so i do recommend you watch it i would include clips but i would get flagged and copyright and i don't want to get my channel in trouble so you gotta bear that in mind they're asking her specific questions to trick her into saying certain things to make her look a certain way so that way it creates drama and it creates interest to keep the audience engaged in the show. I know personally because I lived through this <laughs> and I remember my sister was laughing at one of the questions because my sister was just not having it and I remember the, like them specifically saying that the scenes with my sister or the footage that they filmed with my sister was unusable because my sister was just not having it whereas me I was completely ignorant uh to you know what was going on and to what they were trying to do and they were trying to create this narrative like for me they were trying to create that I was um you know, the, this weird girl that lived in the shadow of my mother and wanted to please my mom, which, I mean, is true to a point. You know, I'm, I my hair is lighter now, but I mean, I was dark, hairy Portuguese kid, and my mom's this blonde Viking lady that looks like freaking Elsa from Frozen. And she wanted me to be a blonde, beautiful cheerleader, and I was not her blonde, beautiful cheerleader. I was my dad as a girl nerdy you know little portuguese and they they try to phrase things in a certain way but to make you look a certain way so please bear that in mind give this girl a benefit of the doubt even though yes she's 15 years old she says some stuff that are extremely cringy but again she's 15 years old this video came out in 2005 i'm sure she has matured significantly since then and if you go look at her instagram you can see she still likes you know she likes pretty dresses she likes dressing up she likes being girly she likes going to parties uh you can see that from her instagram and that parallels what's going on in this video as well but i don't think her personality is exactly like this and knowing the back end of how mtv does things and the way that they film their videos I think a lot of this was staged and set up, especially when you see them asking people everything and the way that they have her seem kind of like a bitch towards freshmen and the way that people say things. It's not natural at all, and you can tell that. And it's, it's MTV, so I don't know why anyone takes this shit seriously to begin with. But anyways, everyone, I just wanted to do a video and talk about this because, uh, you know, everyone, I'm a huge Henry Cavill super simp, and, you know, the... <laughs> this news just breaking I just I thought it was funny because I was you know having the weirdos come after me on Twitter for the past couple days because oh my god you scrolled to his girlfriend's Instagram you're a stalker and a weirdo and then this news comes out and I'm like oh you gonna call them stalkers and weirdos too Probably not. Probably not. But anyways, everyone, I just wanted to bring some clarity to this situation. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. If you like this video, go ahead and smash the like button. If you didn't, that's okay, too. Thank you so much for watching this far through. And until next time, everyone, I hope you have a great rest of your day, morning, evening, afternoon, wherever you are in the world. And may the force be with you because we are really, really, really going to need it. Bye, everyone. Hey everyone, I just wanted to let you know if you didn't know already that I have an Etsy where I sell prints of my artwork. I got horror villains, Marvel, DC, and Star Wars characters. The latest Star Wars character that I just added was the one, the only, Gina Carano as Cara Dune. Now Gina herself even loved the painting. So if you want to go check that out, the link is in the description of this video. They are selling like crazy and I am still only in the pre-sale, so go pick that up before they're gone.